Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7 semester 2, chapter 1 ratio and proportion exercise 1.3. Let us see the first question. Find out whether the given quantities are very directly or inversely proportioned. See the first one, time taken to cover a distance and speed. Here, if time taken to cover the distance increases, then speed will be decreasing. So, the given quantities are in inverse proportion. See now second one, area of land and its cost. Here, both quantities increases in the same proportion or decreases in the same proportion. So, the given quantities are in direct proportion. See now third one, number of men for work and time taken to complete the work here both the quantities if one quantity increases the other quantity will be decreasing and vice versa also so the given quantities are in inverse proportion see now fourth one number of people quantity of food grains each one gets if number of people decreases then quantity of food for each one gets will be increased and vice versa also. So, given quantities are in inverse proportion. Scene of fifth one. The length of a journey by bus and price of the ticket. Here both quantities. If one quantity increases, the other also increases in the same proportion. If one quantity decreases, then the other quantity also decreases in the same proportion. So, the given quantities are in direct proportion. See now question number two. If 24 men can construct a wall in 10 days, in how many days will 15 men do it? Let us see the solution. If the number of men decreases, the number of days taken to build the wall increases in the same proportion. See in the given question, 24 men constructed a wall in 10 days. So 15 men, how many days will they do the work? So here if you observe means number of men decreased. So the number of days taken to construct the wall will be increasing. Here one quantity is decreasing, the other quantity is increasing. So number of men and the number of days to construct the wall are in inverse proportion. Let the number of days to construct the wall be x. See in this tabular form we have taken number of men and number of days. 24 men have taken 10 days to construct a wall. 15 men will take how many days to construct the wall we have to find. So let the number of days to construct the wall here we have taken as x. Now the inverse proportion will be 24 is to 15 that equals to x is to 10. If you observe this arrow here number of men are decreasing. So, the number of days will be increasing. So, 24 is to 15 is equal to x is to 10. Now, let us find the inverse proportion. See now, by taking inverse proportion, 24 is to 15 is equal to x is to 10. We know product of means is equal to product of extremes. So, 15 into x is equal to 24 into 10. That implies x equal to here 15 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by. So x equal to 24 into 10 by 15. 5 table 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15. 3 table 3 ones are 3, 3 eights are 24. Now let us multiply numerators 8 into 2 that is 16. Therefore x value is 16 days. Therefore 15 men can construct the wall in 16 days. See now question number 3. In a hostel there are food provisions for 50 girls for 40 days. If 30 more girls join the hostel, how long will the provisions last? Let us see the solution. If we observe the question for 50 girls, the provisions will last for 40 days. If 30 more girls join in the hostel, that means 50 plus 30, that is 80 girls if in the hostel. How long the provisions will last? That means number of days will be decreasing. See here solution, if the number of girls increases, the number of days 
food provisions will last decreases in the same proportion. So, number of girls and the number of days the food provisions will last are in inverse proportion. Let the number of days the food provisions will last be x. Now, let us see this tabular form. Number of girls and number of days. For 50 girls, food provisions will last for 40 days. If 30 girls join extra, so 50 plus 30, that is 80 girls were there in the hostel. How many days the food provisions will last? See here, here number of girls are increasing, the number of days are decreasing. So the inverse proportion will be 80 is to 50 is equal to 40 is to x. Now let us see the inverse proportion now. By taking inverse proportion 80 is to 50 that equals to 40 is to x. We know product of means is equal to product of extremes. Then here we have taken extremes that is 80 into x is equal to product of means that is 50 into 40. That implies x equal to 50 into 40 by 80. 41s are 40. 42s are 80. Again, 2 table to 1s are 2. 2 25s are 50. So, x equal to 25 into 1 that is 25. Therefore, x value is 25 days. Thus, food provisions for 80 girls will last for 25 days. See now question number 4. Suman travels a distance for 5 hours with a speed of 48 km per hour. If he wants to travel the same in 4 hours, at what speed he should travel? Let us see the solution. If the time taken to travel a distance decreases, the speed to cover a distance increases in the same proportion. Observe in the question, Suman can travel a distance for 5 hours at a speed of 48 km per hour. If he wants to travel the same distance in 4 hours, at what speed he should travel? See here, here number of hours are decreasing, 5 hours to 4 hours. Then, speed will be increasing per hour. So, time taken to travel a distance and speed to cover a distance are in inverse proportion. Let the speed to cover a distance be x kilometers. Here we have taken a tabular form time taken and speed per hour. If 5 hours 48 kilometers per speed if he travel a distance in 4 hours at what speed he can cover the same distance. So here we have taken speed as x kilometers. Now the inverse proportion will be 5 is to 4 that equals to x is to 48. By taking inverse proportion, 5 is to 4 is equal to x is to 48. We know product of means is equal to product of extremes. Then 4 into x is equal to 5 into 48. That implies x equal to 5 into 48 by 4. 4 table, 4 ones are 4, 4 twelves are 48. That implies x equal to 5 into 12 that is 60. Therefore x value is 60 kilometers per hour. KMPH means kilometers per hour. So the x value is 60 kilometers per hour. Thus Suman travels a distance in 4 hours at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Today we have seen a chapter 1 ratio and proportion exercise 1.3 1 to 4 sums. In our next video, we shall see remaining sums of this exercise. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.